Hey everyone, Leo with Dreaming Tree, and welcome to the assembly video for our Floral Sympathy card. Now, you can see here in front of me, it's a very straightforward card, and that was the idea <clears throat> behind these latest designs, is we wanted to let the machine do all the work, because we know sometimes you don't have all the time in the world, and you need something uh, quickly and efficiently, and that's what we have for you today. So anyway, we're going to start off by taking these two layers and gluing them together. You can see how uh, they're going to fit on top of each other here. You basically want to just align the two layers together and just make sure that everything looks nice and centered so that just a little bit of that light blue is showing through behind the darker, uh, the darker blue. Okay, so go ahead and just start getting your glue on there. Now this one, compared to our, I think it was the Get Well, doesn't have as much detail, but still has a good amount. Uh, these two layers are gonna be pretty easy to glue together. That final layer, I'll show you a couple little tricks to make sure that everything works nicely and you don't end up with glue all over the place. Pretty simple. And before you know it, we'll be done. I think the last one, because it was a little more detailed, I think I got that one done uh, in less than about 15 minutes which it shouldn't even take that long. I just tend to probably blab more than I need to during my assembly videos, just to make sure that you get all the information you need. But um, I think if you kind of skim through the video, it's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so just make sure everything lines up nicely. Again, just a little bit of that lighter blue should be showing through the back. And some of these areas, like this one here and here, it's kind of free floating, so it almost has a mind of its own and you may need to just kind of nudge things a little bit here or there. Okay, so that's that. And now what we're gonna do, and it'd be helpful to, when you fold this, just be careful because it's pretty close to all these little details so that you don't accidentally rip some of these off. Just be very careful. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply glue to the back of this and then just take the whole card base and just pop it on like this, and you can see how beautiful that design is once it's all said and done. Okay, so we'll flip this over, and what we're gonna do actually is we're gonna put some glue on these little details, but we're also going to put glue around the perimeter of this part, okay? So we're gonna start here, and I'm gonna do a series of little dots throughout this design, and then once I have my dots in as many places as I can without going too overboard, I'll probably just dab them with my finger a little bit to thin it out so that it doesn't spread onto the layer that we're going to attach to it. We don't want any of that glue to end up on the beautiful blue paper that we have. Okay, so we'll just do our best. We don't need to get every little inch of this covered. You can always go back in and paint a little extra glue wherever needed. Okay, so again, we're gonna grab this layer and just do a nice thin amount of glue around the perimeter, like so. Okay, and we can put this down flat and grab the card base. And we just wanna line this up very carefully. I'm sort of looking at the top first, just making sure that my top is nice and aligned and then kind of working towards the middle and then ultimately the bottom. And if I need to kind of nudge things a little bit, now's the time. Like this guy here is a little bit kind of free floating. because It's not really welded to anything. And there we have it. Okay, like this little flower. Just nudge that over a little bit, bring this guy down. Just try to get as much of that beautiful blue behind it showing through, okay? And there you go. And that's that, okay? So now, what you can do, I'm going to just check my work here. Grab a scrap piece of paper and just throw a little bit of glue right on the very corner and just kind of feel these little areas here. You can use the non-gluey part of your scrap to see it and make sure that everything's sitting nice and flat. If it's not, you can literally just paint a little bit of glue right under that little area. But I think I did a pretty good job of getting everything to sit nice and flat. That's fine. That one's fine, yeah, that's good. Okay, so that worked out nicely. And again, this one's probably the easiest of the three. All right, so now we can close this up. And I mean, that alone is very stunning. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and put this blue piece behind it to add a little extra color. 
And what that's going to entail is applying glue to this section here, especially around the perimeter, obviously. And then we'll hit the inside details with a little bit of glue in certain spots, just a few little lines here or there. You don't need to go overboard, just need it to stay in place like that. Okay. And I want my texture side facing out. I'm just going to line that up with the existing square. There we go. And this gives you uh, some additional area to write. Maybe you can even, you know, put a picture in there or something or whatever you want to do, but look how beautiful that is and how quick that went together. Okay. So now we have one more little panel. It's going to go right inside here. And this is where uh, you should write your little sentiment. Uh, we've been doing some work with single line fonts recently. Maybe I'll do a little video showing you how to incorporate those into these cards. Because again, my penmanship has gone by the wayside. I feel like I stopped doing it since, well, it's been a while. I learned it in Catholic school, grade school, and I'm 40 now, so I'll do the math on that. And there's the beautiful card. Okay, now I do have a caption, a cutout caption which makes life super easy. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this layer and this layer, the actual cutout, and then this funky looking layer with these two little holes. And these holes are for the center of the P and the center of the A. And just so we don't have to piece those little pieces together. Okay, so we're gonna glue that right on top of this blue piece, making sure that these little holes match up with their corresponding little areas where they need to be to make it legible, okay? And there are some little tiny little areas here. So what I would do is just put a little dot of glue on like the little part in the middle of the uh, H and the M, and then just hit that with your finger and dab it so that that glue doesn't go spraying all over the place. And then grab this piece and however you do it, however's more, most comfortable for you, pop that on there. Make sure that again, it's nice and centered in that letter in those letters, I should say. And also make sure that you maintain a nice even border all the way around this white piece that's layered on top, okay? And there you have it. Okay, there's that. Next, what we're gonna do is take this and glue it onto this white piece. And again, you're gonna have a little bit of that white showing around the perimeter as well. This one's gonna be a little bit easier though, because we don't have all those little details. Let's pop that on there. And we're using a beautiful pearlescent paper with this. So it really adds a nice little shimmer to a very detailed and intricate card, but your recipient won't realize how quick and easy it was to put together. And then finally, um, we've got a little bit of silver foil. We're gonna take this caption and glue that right onto that piece, nice and centered, so that a little bit of that silver foil is showing through. And this is a What's the word I'm looking for? Oh boy, my brain's just going. It's a symmetrical piece, so you can, uh, doesn't matter if it's right side up or upside down, it's the same thing. And there you have it. Okay, so give that a second to dry. Anytime I'm dealing with cardstock on top of a foil, I, I know that it has a tendency to want to shift around if you don't give it enough time to dry. And then you can either glue that down flat or give that a little bit of dimension by way of some foam squares. So I'll flip that over. And because it's so small, I think two is plenty. And then that way you don't see them from the sides. Okay, that looks nice. And then we're gonna pop that right in the center of our card in this little cutout area. And the cool thing is too, is that all the captions on all three of these cards are relatively the same size which means that you can use these designs and swap the, uh, the captions as you see fit. So if you prefer to use a, a different floral pattern with a different caption, you can do that. And a little bit of glue leak out here on my foil. Hopefully I can salvage that. Doesn't look too bad. There we go. Okay, so there's a beautiful card, nice and easy. And of course, a nice, beautiful, detailed coordinating envelope to go along with it. And as I mentioned time and time again, when I'm making cards and envelopes, I prefer to use the solid scoreline version of our files, which you'll find in the extras folder. 
uh, I believe it's in the extras folder. Maybe we don't even call it extras anymore and it's just in the solid score line folder. But definitely use the solid score line version if you have the cutting machine that allows you to, like a Cricut Maker with the score wheel, uh, or even the Explore <clears throat> with, the, uh, with the little you know, embossing tool or the score tool. That should work too. It's not as accurate and it's a little more uh, blunt, but it works. And you'll see here uh, how the envelope's gonna look. We'll have a little bit of that blue showing through around the perimeter, which means that we need to apply our glue to the entire flap. And we also want to try to get a little bit of glue around those details on that flower, just so that we don't accidentally rip it or tear it, or we don't want it to get snagged on anything. Okay, so a little bit here in the center, and then you've got the two little veins that are kind of free floating. Get a little glue on there, and then what I would recommend doing is just kind of dab that with your finger, so that once we do press down on that paper, it doesn't go spilling out onto our cardstock here. We'll take this piece, and hold this up almost 90 degrees, push it up against where the score mark is, make sure it's centered. And once you have it there, bring this down and press, and then very gently on those veins. And if you don't get the veins the first time, we can use our little painting method and we can clean that up, okay? Just to make sure that they really stick. I, it looks like this little area here, for me, kind of dried up a little bit and the glue didn't really hold. So I'll take a scrap piece of paper, just a tiny, tiny bit of glue on there, tuck it under, press it up against that piece, press down. There you have it. And that guy is good, and that one's good too. Okay, so there we have that. And then we'll take our two little wings on either side, on both sides actually, and apply our glue right along the inside of the flap, like so. Then bring the bottom up, like you're putting a diaper on. <laughs> I know a little bit about that lately. Okay, actually the diaper would be different. It'd be this part first and then these two, but I digress. Okay, and there's your beautiful coordinating envelope. I don't wanna shove it in there just yet because it's not fully dry, but you can see how beautiful that looks. And that's gonna do it. So very quick, that's what we wanted with this bundle, but um, just because it's quick doesn't mean that it's lacking detail. It is a stunning card. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please visit us on our YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button while you're there. There's a little bell you can click on. And when you click on that bell, you'll get notifications anytime we release a new product, whether it be paid or free. And if you make this or any of the cards from our new bundle, I'd love to see them. And so would the rest of our community. Head over to your Facebook, do a search for Dreaming Tree Official. That's where you'll find myself and over 40,000 dreamers that inspire us daily. So thanks for hanging with me. And as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos and please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where you'll find over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly tutorials. I'll see you in the craft room.